show you how to measure up your sales for a monohull. In this video, we're going to show you how to measure up for a head sale. Step one, make sure the Genoa halyard is attached to the shackle at the top of the swivel and your tape measure is securely fastened to the shackle on the bottom swivel as shown. The next step is to hoist the swivel all the way to the top. To get your maximum luff, you're going to measure from the maximum hoist all the way down to the bearing surface of your tack shackle. Make sure that's at a 45 degree angle. The next measurement is your maximum hoist all the way down to where your force day attaches to the deck. Back on the boat, you'll need your maximum hoist to mast base. The next step is your maximum hoist down to front of track. Following that, maximum hoist to the back of the track. Now that we've finished with the maximum hoist measurements, we can drop the tape measure and measure on the deck. For all the deck measurements, make sure your tape is securely fastened to your forester. Your first measurement is four stay to front of mast, which is also known as J. Two measurements are four stay to front of track and four stay. To the back of the track. For your tack setback, make sure your tack shackle is at a 45 degree angle and a little tip, start the tape measure at 1 for accurate measurements. The next measurement is the bearing surface from your tack shackle at a 45 degree angle all the way to the top of the feeder as shown. last measurement we'll need is the internal diameter of your bolt rope. There's two ways you can measure this, either by using a vernier or alternatively give us the make and model of your furling system and we should be able to figure it out ourselves.